right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training, oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Mimago Meda. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or do you just expect them to work out into the pits? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach for both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Huge damage from that elbow. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Strike attempt there is blocked. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, he
he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Good stick. Spinning back fist. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. This striker has come. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Throws the left hand. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Back to the feet now. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice straight punch. Flips to avoid the right. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh. Just out of range with that right hook. Nermago Medov's kick attempt. That one was blocked. Oh, and now the hip toss in a great position now. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Both fighters back to their feet now. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch by Nermago. So 44 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nermago. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Wow. Oh, Superman punch. And they separate. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nurmagomedov gets caught, and it was a big elbow there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Right hand punch from the clinch. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, collar tie. Huge knee land. Great punch. That's 
a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like level change, your leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there. The posture. He's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Yo, wow! That was nasty! Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.